Okay, now start this exercise of 10.4. Previous uh, exercise, previous session, we were talking about uh, how to get all those values. Now you have to draw Venn diagram from the information. Just a reverse process. So let's let's start with an example so you'll get a clear idea. Suppose I'm going to take you for uh, the first question. It has given some names of the countries. Okay. So draw Venn diagram to illustrate the above information. First one is when you are drawing, you have to draw this uh, Xi. Xi is your universal set. Okay. Remember, this one has to be there. This one has to be there as a universal set. Okay. Now it has given A and B. A and B. So I'm just going to draw A and B. But before you are drawing, you have to check that if there is any common country, like common elements. I could also not say country, common element. Like Egypt is here. Here is also Egypt. Okay. Libya, Morocco, Chad, and Iran, Iraq, Turkey. So, okay. So there is one common element. So what are you going to do? We are going to make another set of thing. Common means it has a cross section. So you are going to draw like this. So next part of it is you have to Mm, you have to take now the values like uh, what is called uh, the elements. You have to cover it with the elements. Suppose first one is the Egypt. So I'm just writing uh, Egypt. Okay. And uh, this is my set A. This is my set B. So Egypt is already covered. Libya, uh, Morocco. Okay, and shared. okay, so this is there, and this one is covered with Iran, Iraq, Turkey, and Egypt. Okay, so like this, you have to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the above information. Okay, now my above information is already illustrated. That is part A of problem one, already illustrated. Now we have to think about part B. Part B is copy and complete the following statement. So there are two set of values which are given over here. So now you have to uh, complete it. Like problem number B, part one, is talking about A intersection B. A intersection B, intersection means what? Common value, right? Am I right? Common value. Yes. Common is. In this, uh, in this uh, problem, you can see the common is between them is Egypt, right? So we'll write the name Egypt over here. Okay, so this is my intersection. The next one is part two, that is union. So union between these two set. This to set, you are going to write uh, all the values, okay? Since you have uh, already, already have already, already you have made the Venn diagram, so it will be easy for us to write it. Let's write Libya, Morocco, uh, Chad, Egypt, right? Iran. Iraq and Turkey. Right? So these are our, this is for part two. Okay. Similarly, the same process you have to follow for problem number two, problem number three, and problem number four. Okay. So I would suggest solve this three problem. Okay. And if you need help, you can just ask me or you can follow the steps. Okay, let's begin. Let's start. Problem number two. I'll start with Ranjan. Problem two. Ranjan, are you there? Yes, sir. Problem two. Okay. Now your turn. So you will tell me. I'll just write it over here. First is draw. Okay. I'm just drawing a space. Okay. Suppose this is my universal set, right? 
Now we say that in the last year the above information P and Q. Do P and Q have the same values and common values? Yes. Eleven, thirteen, and seventeen. Yes. Right. So if they have it, so what do you have to do? First is you have to make a circle. And this is as a common space. So and this is okay. So writing this is as P and this is as Q. Okay. So let's take this take the other values. So let let's fill this one. First is 11, 13, and 17. These are the common values. Now uh, we are going to put other values like two, two, three, three five, seven, five, seven, and there is fifteen and, and nine. nineteen, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. So now start. Problem number B. Now B part, you answer it. Uh, so for B. Uh, number one is uh, 11, 13, and 17. 11, 13, okay. And uh, number two, number two is uh, two, three, two, three, five, seven, five, seven, eleven, eleven, thirteen, thirteen, fifteen. 17 and 19. Okay. Great. Okay. Now I'll go to Avantika for problem number three. Sir. Question three. First is B has given A union B is given A intersection B is given. Represent the above information on a Venn diagram. So I'm just drawing a space. Just explain. Where to put what? I draw the space. Now what what should I do? Draw the two circles. A um A and B. Yes, okay, two circles. Okay, this is one. This is another one. Next. Um you have to name each of them. One of them A and, A and, and B. Fine. And A only has one and three. Now first tell me the common common space. What should I write? Common space is two and four. Two and four. Great. Now tell me about how uh, by which value I should fill problem number uh, sorry, part of A. We have to fill one and three. We have to fill A with one and three. One and three, that's it? Yes. Okay, fine. Next one, part B. Has six, eight, and ten. Again, repeat. Six, eight. And ten. Six, eight, and ten. Anything is outside? No. No. So A union B, let's check now. Now A union B is one, two, three, four, six, eight, and ten. Yes, it is matching. Now A intersection B also two and four. Yes, it is matching. And part B. Now check for B. B is two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes. Correct. So so you understood that how to split this one. Now I'll go to um, I'll go to Arya for problem number four. Problem four. Okay. So, uh, sir, should I describe which is in which circle? Just let me draw this. Okay. Circle. Okay. So you are going to describe it. Uh, suppose I'm going to draw a circle. X, Y, Z are there. So how many circle I should draw? Three? Three. With all common? Uh what sir? No. Yeah, um, sir, um they should all three circles should intersect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All common. So if I yes. draw as X over here, Y over here, and Z over here. Yes. Okay. Making sense? Okay, yes. now I'll, I'll fill this part. Okay, tell me, what should I feel? But this is, I'm uh, giving a name as X. This one I'm giving name as Y and the last one is Z. Okay, so tell me, first first tell me, what should I write common between all three? Uh, C. I should write C, okay, C, fine. And uh, what should I write for uh, between X and Z? 
Uh, F. F. Okay. What should I write between Z and Y? I and M. Again, repeat, please. I, I and M. I and M. Okay. Now, common between X and Y. Uh, D, E, and L. D, E, and L. Okay, my space is a little small. D, E, and L. Okay. Now, tell me what should I write for X? A and G. A and G. Now, tell me what should I write for Y? B, H, and K. B, H, and K. And for Z? Uh, J. Only J. Yes. Okay. I think uh, it's still up. Let's now ch you know, ch for checking. Just do a cross check. Um, problem X. X means A. Okay. Existing. C. Okay. D is there. E is there. F is there. G is there. L. What is L? Yes. L also there. L is between now, X and Y. Now, five has B. Yes. C is there. Yes. D is there. E is there, H is there, I also there, K, yes, K also there, L, yes, and M. Great. Now for Z, it has C, it has F, I, J, M. Yes, all are matching. That's great. Very good. Okay. Now we are going to do, uh, get into the part that is problem solving set problem solving set means here you have to consider the number of elements as well as algebraic equation suppose i'm going to take an example of this one itself so if i'm going to consider this one has given that uh, the number is given 22 minus x common between them as x and 20 minus x so um, this one you have to understand sometime from the what problem sometimes it will be given so it is totally depending uh, it is actually vary from different uh, question to problem to problem okay for this case if you see this is given as a word problem okay can I, sir? Can I, sir? yeah uh, thomas here sir uh, miss harry wants to pass a message to one of the students in this platform shall i allow one minute i'm not getting it sir can you repeat your word well, I need to take uh, one minute just to talk to two, two of your students. So just using your time, five minutes. Is it okay? Okay, just, okay, okay, fine, fine. No issue, yeah. going on with your chemistry solution. Just one minute. Uh, Matt, sorry. Uh, I see physics and chemistry a little bit. Uh, uh, Ranjana, Arya, are you be coming? Am I clear? Sir. How to find? Yes, sir. Yeah. So yes, sir. when you are going to find that how these values are coming, so you have to generate this Venn diagram and you have to draw by own that how this one is, uh, how the X values, is coming, the values are coming. So these are the framing of equation should come from the book of example. So let's, let's start with um, other problem as well. Uh, sub substituting the value. the value so exercise 10.5 we are going to start okay let me show you one problem that how we are going to do it first is is given in the word problem in a class 35 students this is your first target 19 take spanish uh, spanish and the 18 take uh, french three take uh, neither means nothing is there to calculate how many take both french and spanish and just spanish and just french so you're going to do uh, a brain diagram that means the diagram has to be drawn in a form of uh, in a form of sorry in a form of uh, rectangle and thereafter you are going to uh, draw all of this so let's draw uh, there are two subjects so I'm using so Spanish I'm using S and uh, for French I'm using uh, F so uh, this is S and this is F and this is my universal set and they said three take neither so the three take neither means uh, you can you can put it outside it is three and 35 students total now how many take both the subject 
This is another question. So how many take both of the subject that is unknown for us? So if it is unknown, I'll put it as X. Okay. Now 19, 19 takes uh, Spanish. So, so Spanish will be 19 minus X. That is the only, right? Strictly. So this will be 19 minus X. And then for French, it is X means 18 minus X. Okay. Now equation is clear. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Now yes, diagram, sir. diagram is, I hope diagram is clear to you. Now we are going to take it further that how we're going to solve uh, it. Um, what is called? How we're going to solve it better. So um, now they said that 35 student as a total. So let me frame that equation that as per question, they have given 35, that is 19 minus X plus X plus 18 minus X plus three, that's my 35. So ultimately 19 minus X plus X plus 18 minus X plus three is 35. So you're just going to take in cancellation. So you can cancel over here. So a next step should be, next step should be, uh, you have to add the value is 19 plus 18. So 19 plus 18 plus three, okay? So you can add, how much is coming? 19, 9, 80, 17 plus 3, 20. So it is the 40, right? It will be 40. So 40 minus, 40 minus X. 40 minus X equal to 35. Ultimately X equals to coming 40 minus 35. So it is five. That is both the subject is taken by five students. Now, just that means this one is done. Now, uh, only only the subjects of Spanish. So it will be 19 minus uh, 5. That means 14 students. Okay. Now, for just for French, just for French means 18 minus 5. That means it is coming 13, 13 students. Okay. Now, for checking, for checking, this is a total of 35 students. So let's check 5 plus 14 plus 13 and take 3 was neither. Right, so all the values if you add 5 plus 14 plus 13 plus uh, 3, so you're going to get how much it is coming 35. It should come 35 actually. Check if it is coming 35, that means uh, if it is uh, the both the values are 35, means this value 35 and this is matching, that means your calculation is correct. Okay. So let's let's try one question from there. I would suggest try problem number three. This problem number three. So this will be the answer for both of hockey and rugby will be uh, 10 students and uh, only hockey will be 60 minus 10, that is 50 students. Okay, so that's all for today. So next class again, we'll meet and we'll take it further and we'll finish it up. Okay, thank you class.